the first episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I am Decepticon Rampage, and what's up with this? I got I got a freaking Nintendo game on my channel. I always talk about how much I love Nintendo and how much I love all the all the things and how much I love Zelda. And this is the first time I've gotten one of these recorded. But uh, I'll let this cutscene play out before I uh, gush anymore. Majesty of Skyloft. So I was going to be quiet, but but just, yeah, listen to that music. That's one of the one of the fantastic things with the Zelda franchise is the music, and this this is a prime example of that. Ah, it's it, it's Pelican Bird. In my face. Anyway, uh, mm -hmm. I one thing I do want to mention is I don't plan on reading the dialogue. I know a lot of Let's Players do. Uh, I'm just not really one much for trying to make up voices for all the characters and just reading them you know, verbatim is kind of uh, like, eh, I... I I think that's kind of boring, but I and some people will probably say, "Hey, if you don't read the cut, if you don't read the dialogue, it's going to be boring too." But hey, you, you, it's on the screen; you can read it. I have to read it. So, as is typical with uh, the hero of the Legend of Zelda, you know, uh, the green-clad hero. Uh, <laughs> That this this version is is a sleepyhead. It's, it seems to kind of be a, a trend, but uh, anyway. All right, so we're, we're controlling. We're here at the Night Academy. We're playing as Link, and hey, some and some rupees, along with a bunch of other random things stuck in the cupboard. So as I mentioned, man, I the Zelda franchise is something that's near and dear to my heart, and uh, while I I do thoroughly enjoy the uh, um. It's Pippet. Um, while, I, while I do thoroughly enjoy the like 2D Zelda, I don't know. I've always had a a stronger connection to the 3D Zeldas. Not that I don't not that I don't enjoy the the 2D. You know the you know, the top down. You know things like Link. I'm you know Link to the Past is an amazing game. But generally, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd rather you know I'll generally prefer to play. Um, you know, something like uh, Oc Ocarina of Time, or in the case of this, Skyward Sword, you know, Wind Waker. Uh, those ones, are, those are the ones that have always stuck with me more so. So, 
And here we we, we had just met Pippet. Now we're uh, who's our like our, the upperclassman. And uh, then we got Fledge here. We we're supposed to be getting to the the ceremony, but hey, you know what? This guy looks like he could use a hand. He, he's he's not all that uh all that impressive as a as a character at this point. I'm just saying, you know, that there's, you know, character arcs and whatnot. But, uh, this also kind of serves as a little mini tutorial on, uh, the a new addition to the franchise, which is, uh, stamina. You can actually, uh, run and jump and carry, oh, oh, can I make it? I bet I can make it. It's getting close. Come on, Link. You can do it. Hey ya! Ho oh, yeah! Uh, but yeah, the 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 whole stamina meter thing, uh, I I really like it because it it gives it's just kind of increases, you know, it, it's all you know your movement speed, but you know you kind of have you can't just go like crazy on everything, you know. It's um, it just adds another layer to it. You can't just go, like, all willy-nilly and whatnot, swinging things about and running all over the place. But hey, it's nice you can actually run. You know, that's something that hasn't typically been in the franchise before, other than, like, thinking back to something like Link to the Past, where you had um, the Pegasus boots. But it, w it was always an item that augmented you, um, to that gave you that ability. It was never just something that was in it from the get-go. But... Man, what would what a what a beautifully crafted game. Hey! Hey! Yo. And a fine good morning to you, sir. Hmm. And all the all the tutorial stuff, you know. <laughs> That's I'm I'm going to try to have this um this playthrough with a little slightly shorter episodes than the norm. I mean, if if I'm in the middle of something, I, I will probably continue to the point where I can get to a, a good stopping spot. But typically, I want to try to run uh, about fifteen, you know, fifteen minutes or less on most of the episodes. So by the time we get done with this, uh, considering we're about eight minutes in already, uh, actually maybe a little bit less than that, but. Um, I don't think we'll probably have much time for it, uh, a lot beyond the rest of this um, to get the basic tutorial stuff out of the way. So since this this dude's gonna basically teach me how to you know about how stamina works and uh, climbing and pushing boxes and all that kind of fun stuff. Sure, why not? I'm helpful by nature. If there's one thing in a Zelda game, it's, it's you know, completing random tasks for lots of different people. So we can shimmy across. You can use up a little bit extra stamina to uh, do a little leap. Uh, the same thing up, like, vines and whatnot like that. Um, yes, yes, I, I'm, I'm aware. I know how to... I can figure out how to push box. Thank you. What is this wooden box even doing up here? That's my question. Oh, 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 oh damn it. There we go. Haha. -ha. Ha ha! Come here, kitty cat. Pick it up. Ha ha! Do 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 do. That I shall. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Um, who? I'm gonna. 
Uh, these bird statues serve as a save point in this game, so you just walk up to one of those and and shave. Uh, and then, if it, you know, of course, if I talk when I talk to this guy, he's gonna tell me about how to save, even though I just did it. Just fixing the gate here. Yeah, it's pretty basic. There, there's, there's, you know, uh, it's actually very similar to. Uh, oh yeah, and these are stamina fruit. They'll instantly recover all of your stamina, um, and conveniently, they're actually placed around Skyloft so that you can pretty much uh, just. Uh, oh, I ran up the thing. Nope, stop running up the thing. There we go. Um, so you can pretty much like run directly onto a fruit. Right, it, it's almost right when you're going to be running out. So that's convenient. I like it. It's good. And so now we're, you know, even though we got a little uh, snippet earlier, um, this was kind of our actual introduction to our uh, main female protagonist. Oh, and yeah, listen to this music. I will, I will shut up so we can listen. As I was saying, it's Zelda. It's I, I you know, I, there there was some criticism with this, with you know having Zelda be a, a younger character, and you know the fact that she's not a princess and whatnot, you know. Uh, but I, I like the I mean if the since this is the first you know, the first game in the in the timeline, this is where everything else branches from. Um, I, I you know I like that you know there there's it's a a more humble start for the character. Um, while she's the daughter of the head, the headmaster. You look great, Zelda. I, I personally think so. I, I think I love. I really like her redesign. You know, it, it's uh, and it just brings like a youthful exuberance to the character, I, which I really like. Um, and speaking of um, you know redesigns, you know Link while he while he is very similar to be previous versions of the character, um, and then, then we got eyebrows over here, um, which of course is a reference if if nobody, if for anyone who doesn't know, it's a reference to the owl from some of the other uh, Zelda games, uh, Gabra Capra, or I, I've never I've never known how, exactly how to pronounce it to be perfectly honest, but uh, his his first name is Gap is Gapera, or they they said it earlier. Yeah, rewind, rewind the tape. But uh, you know, again, you know, he, uh, like I was saying, Link is, uh, while he's more leaning towards the adult style Link, uh, he's also, um, he also is a bit younger than, uh, say, like Ocarina of Time Link, or, um. Probably fairly close to in line with Twilight Princess. I, you know, I'm not exactly for sure on a lot of it. Like exactly how they never really say exactly how old he is um, in a lot of those. I think, I believe that the only time you're actually given an age for Link is in Ocarina of Time, when with uh, I want to say that he's supposed to be ten as a child, and when he's young Link, and then and then it's a seven year jump. So, uh, effectively 17 when he's an adult. Um, but, uh, anyway, you know, that it is, it is what it is. And, you know, and I, I, again, I, I like the, the way the design that they went for him, you know, where, where uh, Link's always had an innocence to him, but, uh, I, I think this is, this is definitely fits with that. So... Anyway, I, I'm kind of rambling at this point. Anyone who's watched my previous stuff knows that's it's very much the case. Um, but basically, you, you know, for to get the gist of what's what they're talking about, um, you know, the uh, the wing ceremony is today, which uh, is the way that they promote academy students to 
um, the next the next level in uh, next level to get closer to becoming a knight of Skyloft, um, which which is uh, if you noticed before when we talked to the yellow clad uh, academy student that was uh, Pippet, um, he's wearing a very um, classic Zelda style garb. Uh, but in yellow, and it's it's just that's what the night co the night outfits are, uh, look like. But uh, anyway, um, Zelda's about to push us off the edge of the of the Sky World here of Skyloft, and uh, oh, Link's not s sensing his his loft wing, um, which which could be a problem if it uh, you know if it doesn't uh, come push down. But uh oh. Yeah, it, it's probably not the best way to um to motivate somebody. But, um, and you you'd really want to make sure that your bird was fairly close to where you were. The, these the loft wings are not. I mean, they're they're speedy. They're speedy birds, but you know. If, if, if it's, like, hanging out somewhere else and, you know, just... Or, or hell, what if, what if the damn bird's taking a nap? <laughs> so, yeah. Almost died right there. Yeah, that, that would have been bad. Um, interesting, an interesting way to start the story, if, if that was the case. Um... I, I suppose that that could make for an interesting, uh, an interesting start to a, a Zelda game, is uh, if your if your character was killed off at the very beginning of the game. Uh, for anyone who uh, hasn't played it, um, and I think you should because it was a really good game. Uh, Spirit Tracks. Uh, spoiler spoiler alert. Um, Zelda technically sort of dies at the beginning of that game. Um, she exists as a spirit for the rest of for the majority of the game, um, so it is you know interesting as well. Um, but they've, to my recollection, that's never been done with the hero. But you know, it, it, it could work. I mean, there's plenty of other media where the main character is um, is killed off in the first episode. I mean, I can reference in anime. Um, one of my one of my personal favorite anime is uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, and in that the again spoiler alert um, you can probably figure it out since this is what I've been talking about, but uh, the main character is is he is killed off in the first episode, at the, within like the first less than five minutes I want to say. All right, so now we're on our way. We need to go figure out where our loft wings at. Um, but uh, we're more time than I was expecting. All right, so I think we'll call it right here. Um, but uh, anyway, not not a whole lot's happened. We, we haven't accomplished much of anything, but you know, I, I do want to keep these shorter. So I want to thank you guys for joining me for the inaugural episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword. I have been Decepticon Rampage, and catch you next time as we uh, search for our birdie. So. Bye, guys.